For your plan, you are going to think of some objects, um, preferably um, the size of your hand, roughly. Um, you don't want them too small, you don't want them too big. Um, if you want to have kind of a bigger object combined with a smaller object, then that's fine. But you want to kind of go with the theme here. Okay, so here I'm just kind of using some art supplies because they're easy to maneuver and kind of trace. If you want to do like a flower or a realistic butterfly or whatever, um, it may be easiest for you to kind of draw these first on um, some cardstock or something that's kind of thick that you can kind of trace um, several times on your paper. We are going for a very overlapped look, okay? Um, take a look at the next video if you want to see kind of the look that we're going for. We're going to have objects that are going off of the edge of, edges of the pages um, and they're going to be stacked kind of over the top of each other. So your first job is to think of a theme and objects that would go with that theme um, that you can use for your project. If you have something, um, some objects that you would just like to bring from home so that you can trace them, um, that's fine. Otherwise, you will be drawing these objects. We want them a realistic size and we want them to kind of uh, be as realistic as they can be. So you're going to want to find actual photographs or realistic drawings um, to give you an idea of what we want them to look like. However, we're kind of just going for the main contour lines of these objects right now, um, but it may be easiest for you to draw one that you can kind of either trace or um, transfer multiple times.